Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Needs of Children. We are discussing about 10th standard English medium, social science in that political science chapter number 4, global problems and India's role. Let's come to the, in this unit, you learn denying or refusal of human rights, arms race, economic inequality. So these are the very important learning points from this lesson. What do you identify in this picture? Say two or three sentences about this. Yes, with the end of Second World War, the imperialism and colonialism ended. A new world order emerged along with the old world order. With the beginning of UNO, a new era of world order started. As a result of that, still numerous problems like human rights, arms race, economic inequality, apartheid and terrorism have remained in the world. India is a member of the world community, it is striving its best to solve these problems. Let's come to the, among that, the first one, human rights denial. Humanists have advocated that a very human being should get their rights. Unfortunately, human rights have not been honored in the long history of human civilization. Because in the name of caste, religion, race, gender, color of the skin and nationalism, Human rights have been denied to many people throughout the history. The American War of Independence in 1776, the French Revolution in 1789, the Russian Revolution in 1917 and freedom struggles of India and other countries in the early part of 19th century provided more strength to human rights. Hence, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is considered as a major event in the world history. As a result of this, the Human Rights Declaration prepared by the experts agreed upon by member countries was adopted in UN General Body Meeting on December 10, 1948. The General Assembly has mandated the member countries to adapt and protect human rights in every country. In order to facilitate better implementation of human rights, the UNO has provided guidelines along with the Human Rights Declaration. The guidelines included 30 columns. For example, Every individual has a right to live with freedom, dignity and equality once he is born as an individual. It also calls for the eradication of slavery and gender-based exploitation of women. India has been advocating universal declaration of human rights from the beginning in the constitution of India from Article 12 to 35. Part 3rd, Fundamental Rights are discussed in our Constitution. India has been advocating for better human rights implementation in all the meetings of UNO. UNO, in its Conference on Human Rights Violation in 1966, asked for the commitment on the part of member countries for the compulsory implementation of human rights. In order to monitor the human rights implementation process, it formed International Human Rights Commission. And the similar lines in India, National Commission for Human Rights, National Women's Commission, National Commission for Human Scheduled Castes, National Commission for Scheduled Tribes has been appointed for the welfare of citizens of the country. Apart from this, National Backward Classes Commission have been implemented 
formed to monitor the implementation of the human rights at the state level state commission for human rights state women's commission can be found in our karnataka so these are supporting to uno especially to eradicate slavery equal rights to women supporting to uno especially implementation of human rights this is the very important role of india to providing human rights to all the citizens of indians so this is about human rights let's come to the the one more global problem that is arms race in nuclear epoch nuclear epoch epoch means we can call it as era either we have to end the war or the war will end us is a popular saying often found in the present world yes in the current scenario in the current scenario arms race appears to be a dangerous phenomenon disarmament is the present as well as future need of the humanity disarmament is the only solution to stop mad rush of arms disarmaments is the only direct process available to bring to bring down the number of arms or elimination of certain arms insecurity fear instability and threat of war appear due to the arms competition in order to keep all these evils away disarmament is the vi viable option available for humanity it is also believed that money is wasted on arms and ammunitions in the world who were the president of usa once said the world which has arms not only waste the money it also wastes the sweat of laborers intelligence of scientists and the waste of the dreams of the children with the preparation of nuclear weapons and bombs the issue of disarmaments has become a serious issue in the present world india as a peaceful country advocates disarmaments peace is very important for global security issues after 1963 usa and ussr have entered into many bilateral agreements to stop the arms race after 1963 usa and ussr entered into many bilateral agreements to stop the arms race so here are some of the very important agreements let's come to the which are those agreements between the bilateral agreements ptbt that means partial test ban treaty ctbt comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty salt strategic arms limitation talks are some of the agreements entered by both the countries these can be considered as the major meeting points of the agreement for the world india and other countries need to find a way out of definitive destruction staring at the humanity so this is about the concept of the arms race and the one more global problem so that is economic inequality among the members of the world economical inequality is a major problem it is a historical gift of colonialism and imperialism european countries established colonies in africa asia and latin american countries the countries that were under the control of imperialistic powers suffered from backwardness their progress was really slow till 20th century after attaining independence many asian and african countries attempted to achieve development but they had to lot of hurdles lot of problems to cross the science technology agriculture transportation education health and many other areas to achieve development 
Hence, they had to depend upon foreign aid to achieve development, foreign help to achieve development. After 1945, USA and USSR started helping developing countries based on the blocks they belonged to. But the poverty of the developing countries became the tools of power politics of the developed countries. In the later stage, India continued with its non-allied policy. India insisted that the developed countries should provide assistance to developing countries without any conditions. This helped the poor nations to protect their self-respect. It tried to channel monetary help to the third world countries. The word third world denotes poverty and non-development. These countries are trying to come out of the shortage of food, capital, health, education and many other issues. Meanwhile, the excess spending, open economy, globalization promoted by the developed world is taxing the poor nations with increasing population and inability to manage the increasing problems. The UNO and developed countries need to act beyond these limitations. India as a progressive nation is striving to promote economic equality among all the countries of the world. That's it about today's session. I hope you have understood till now what we are discussed. In case if you are having any doubts related to this concept, you can comment in the comment box. I will solve your doubts and I will come back with the next video until keep watching my channel. So thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.